Hello YouTube people, today I'm going to show you around the new Mac 2019 engine. The engine name is MP8, Mop Power 8. So let's take a look. You open your hood in your Mac, it's right on there, and the latch to open is in here. As you can see, I'm opening from here. And there you are, it's open. Now, let's take a look around. As you can see, this is the turbo, right? And now it's color red, the engine. But I'm gonna be honest with you people, this engine looks, looks exactly the same like the Volvo engine. As you can see, they just painted red, but for me, it's exactly the same engine, it's just red. Many people believe it's a Cummins engine on it, but not is a map power 8 engine so let's look for ourselves and find out what's difference for the volvo engine which i don't see too much of difference besides just the name so as you can see the agr over there it lo looks exactly the same agr like the volvo engines so <laughs> nothing new to see around there so turbo is the same, you see, EGR pipe, coolant surface looks the same, you see, water filter looks the same, coolant filter. The only thing that I don't like about this new engine is the way they put it through the cab. Unlike Volvo, this, this cab is shorter. Uh, the hood part is shorter than the Volvo so when you need to work on the rear side of the engine it's really hard to reach for example if you're gonna remove the EGR valve it's gonna be really hard down there because there is no even room to the wrenches to get in so well that's what it is huh that's the price of Newton Volvo so as you can see everything looks the same even the tensioners look about the same water pump over there as you can see e EGR delta pressure sensor in here is the same so let's take a look on the other side you see alternator is the same well, the only thing I have seen lately on the newer Volvo engines and including this Mac engine is like they comes with the uh, intake throttle valve. In the older models, they used not to have it, but now they have it. So we'll see how it works at the end. This one comes with the, you know, mer Mercury fan. They, it doesn't need air anymore to work which is good and bad because when the fan has problems you cannot tell at all if the fan is not good or not because you have to check all the electric wires and all that kind of stuff so I guess it's really hard but we'll see down the road how it works you see this is the Nano MPA yeah this one is 450 it's a really small engine compared to to other engines like DD15 which comes with 475 so as you can see over there in the back you have the intake pressure sensor and temperature sensor you have your crankcase breather in here right. compressor down there yep the the air filter comes different in a different placement now. You have all pro the AC, you know, the uh, air filter drive for the air conditioning is on this on the left. Here, easily, easy to remove it. You have your fuse box. So, let's take a look down there because if you can see down there, right? This is the new style for the filters. And the only thing is like this one doesn't come with the 
you, you remember that comes with the after treatment dosser block so this one comes differently because in the let me focus it for you you see where the air where the blue line is it so that line is for the air pressure for the injector for the dpf injector or seven injector as you know so now it's just in the in the and the fuel filter module comes built in it so i don't understand why they changed the design because i believe if you had to you have problems with the dpf dozer block now you have to replace the whole thing or maybe you need you just need to replace only the the solenoids i'm not sure about it we'll find out maybe in two years or more so that's what it is this is the old pan, red color now, which is really weird. You have your fuel filters over there. So now let's check the other side to take a look on the oil filters. So there you have it, the oil filters over there. This is a brand new truck, so everything is clean. So let's see if this one doesn't have oil leaks later on usually for my experience volvo engines never had big, big bigger air oil leaks besides the crankage breather oil leak that usually those engine has so that's what it is on this new mpa engine which i don't see it like brand new engine for me they just spray color red and that's it this is a volvo engine they just call it different so Thank you people for watching and subscribe and let me know if you have a questions down below. Thank you.